In this video, we're going to be going over how to build your timeline. Now this can go to any type of event, um, and this will be your dashboard here. You can go ahead and click on Plan My Event, and then here you're going to have planning forms, and then below that you're going to have a timeline. So you click on Edit, and then here we're going to have a list of activities, and this is for a wedding, but if we have a corporate event or a birthday or a school event, it's going to have different activities here that you can then, basically you can double click and you can add them here, or you can drag and drop as well. You can rearrange, and you can also go up one or down one, because let's say uh, before the uh, wedding party arrives, you know, uh, we want the vendors uh, to set up. But so we can even type something in there, or you can actually drag that over as well. And then the cool thing is if you click on something uh, and then you click on something, uh, it'll actually go through um, as well. Uh, so that's a, a great way. Now also if you've picked some special songs uh, in your uh, music portal, which um, if you watched how to set up your music, uh, it would, you would see that this here was the processional bridal party song and or if this was a birthday and you want to do a grand entrance or a bar mitzvah, uh, that would be, you know, grand entrance song, click on that, and then it automatically gets added up here with the, the notes uh, as well. And you can add more notes here as well, you know, start at, you know, upbeat, uh, you know, moment, something like that, um, which is great. And that's good information. The more information you provide to our DJs, the better, because then that way it helps us be uh, as prepared and not miss any details as well. So that's really important to us. So I uh, hope that's been helpful. Um, and again, you can add your own um, details. Um, you know, as photographer is gonna uh, is gonna be arriving, um, guest arrival, things like that as well. And then you can here you're gonna put the time. Um, you know, as as you'd like uh, for different times. And if uh, you want to change your mind. You go through here, and then again, if let's say you want to put something between these two, you just click on that, and then you can go ahead and type in, you know, family arrival or whatever is going to be happening between there. So that's pretty much it. And then also, um, it does auto save here every minute, but it's good to um, always save when you're exiting. And then you can go here, and you can actually print uh, your timelines or any forms that you filled out as well. So. That's how you're going to be able to do uh, your timeline. All right, hope that's been helpful. Let's party on.